The global volleyball community is rich in talent, both on and off the court. In this series, we pay tribute to that passion and creativity, which no doubt spreads positive vibes all over. My name is Nolan Albright, and this is VB's Got Talent, presented by VB Rags. We're looking for a headline act amongst the volley players. Bring the net down, bring in the mic and stage. It's time to see if VB's Got Talent, presented by VB Rags. I'm here with Tomas Goldsmith, and uh, Tomas, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, just coming off the boardwalk, and I'm here to enjoy the life in front of me and keep playing ball and see where that takes me. Love it, and uh, I'm happy that you're playing ball next to me. As partners, we're in the main draw tomorrow, it's awesome. Tell me something that was a main draw of your life, like a main draw of your passion. Yeah, well, my life's been about two things, really. It's uh, about playing ball and also playing music. And I've been trying to juggle those two things and make it work for since I was in high school, pretty much. Nice. And uh, what did you do after high school? Yeah, so I went out to uh, New Jersey, actually, and played volleyball for a year at Rutgers. But then uh, they cut their music program. Oh. So I had to find a new place. I went back to Milwaukee. And my saxophone professor in high school was the prof over there at UWM, so I studied with him and okay. finished my music degree at Milwaukee. I've been there ever since. Nice. And uh, what kind of instruments do you play, and what have been some of the accomplishments in your music career? Yeah, so I have two degrees. I have one in jazz studies on uh, tenor saxophone as my main instrument, and then I have a multiple woodwind performance degree. So in addition to tenor sax, I also play clarinet, I play flute, and then I picked up uh, didgeridoo, which we were rocking sure. back in, sure. in Milwaukee, uh, play some piano, do some singing, and uh, just try to find ways to be creative with it. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I think uh, something that's neat about volleyball and about music and about this community is sort of the multi-dimensional talented people and you know somebody looks at you they obviously see athlete but they may not initially see artists they may not initially see musician sure what are uh, some of those elements or some of those ways that you're an artist um, off the court that you think somebody would be interested to know about yeah well I think really it comes down to what you're passionate about and how you can create your life so that you can do your passion mm. So I get to wake up in the morning and do some work, but I also can play music when I want to. I can train when I want to. And it took years of effort to kind of craft that. But if you stay at it, you know, that's what artistry really is, is uh, how can you shape your reality to make it better and to express that which, which you want to show to others. So that's what I've been doing. That's awesome. Um, and then as far as uh, playing music and finding time to play volleyball and play music and, you know, have a good relationship and, you know, spend time with family, yeah. where do you fit that all in? Uh, you know, you have to make some sacrifices here and there. During the summer, uh, I mostly play music for fun, take break from work, take a break from training, hop on the piano, pull out my saxophone, play a little bit, and then... Uh, come back to the sand and play. But in the off season, when I have more time away from the volleyball court, that's when I start hooking up with my musician friends, playing gigs, subbing on it, and on shows. Maybe I'll throw a musical in once in a while. Nice. Uh, you know, so that way I can have a balance. But, but I'm not always all go all the time. Yeah. Um, what? Give me an example of a couple of shows that you've done that have been awesome, whether it's been on a Broadway-type show yeah. or a rock show, or give me an example of a few shows okay. you've done. Uh, actually, one of my most recent and enjoyable shows was uh, for Halloween a couple years ago. Obviously, COVID kind of put a halt on some of the music stuff, but for COVID, uh, for Halloween, my buddies and I had a little band that we... Uh, he had it put together and I came in and subbed and we did a complete front to back cover of Michael Jackson's Off the Wall album for uh, you know, a live gig that was super fun. So oh, sweet. I arranged the horn parts and uh, me and another guy were playing horn on it. They were singing uh, you know, the whole shebang and when you play great music like that, it's, uh, it's always fun. That's awesome. Uh, what are a few of the musicals that you've been a part of? 
So I uh, haven't done one for a while, but I've done a, a bunch of shows uh, through the university. I did No No Nanette was one that I, I think that was my first one. And the way the musical works as a, as a woodwind player, you play like book one or book two, etc. but they have multiple instruments in it. Mm. So uh, I was playing clarinet and flute and saxophone all kind of together and I have them set up in front of me so I can switch. Wow. So it's challenging, you're always changing keys and switching instruments, you have to remember different things, but uh, it is a good way to uh, get paid as a musician, which is why I did the multiple woodwind degree. True, true, <laughs> that is true. So Tomas, what would be your advice to someone who is passionate about both arts and about volleyball, but may not be making money off of it yet? Yeah, well, I think you have to work with what makes food on the table and gives you a place to stay, but what we do makes the world a better place, mm -hmm. right? Being an artist, being a volleyball player brings joy to more than just yourself. And so you have to communicate with people, offer to take that early shift, work a couple extra hours in the morning, ask off to go to tournaments like this. Uh, people are willing to work with you if you can be honest and you know, show that you're committed and responsible. So yep. keep at it. You can, you can awesome. make it work. Keep at it. Keep at it. I, I love that. All right, well, let's, uh, let's play a little song here, huh? Yeah, How about let's, it? let's do it. All right. I like this. A little bit of Bob Dylan in New Jersey. Mama, take this bench off of me. I can't use it anymore. It's getting dark, too dark to see. Feel I'm knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, 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 knocking on heaven's door. Mama put my guns in the ground I can't shoot them anymore That long black cloud is coming down I feel I'm knocking on heaven's door Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door Knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Do it again. Yeah. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. 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 Four more times. <laughs> knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. 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 Wow, dude, that was great. Yeah, uh, that was fun. Amazing. And uh, thank you so much for sharing your talent. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Uh, it's those kind of stories and these kind of talents uh, that really inspire people. And that is something that we're looking at. And if you are somebody that has a talent and is looking to inspire, we'd love to get you involved. Uh, this show is called VB's Got Talent. Tomas Goldsmith, thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you the next time. We're looking for a headline act amongst the volley players. Bring the net down, bring in the mic and stage. It's time to see if he's got talent.
presented by VB Rags.